vacation tour. Really, the point of it was to go fishing <laughs> and afford to do that for for a bit of time. So, um, and a bit of pinball too. I like pinball. I don't know if any of y'all like pinball. Yeah, woo for pinball. And uh, anyhow, so we're gonna play a bunch of songs that I wrote. Um, we're gonna do some old bluegrass songs. We're gonna do some old country songs, and some I'm pull my fiddle out, do a few tunes. Uh, we'll start with a song that lets me tell you a little bit about myself. It's on a CD back there. The CD is called American Dreams. We released it in May. It's got a full band on it. I'll tell you more about that later. Here's a song called Peace of Mind. Well, I'm scared of wasting time. I may waste more than most. I'm grateful for good company, but not always the best host. And I try to tell the truth. Even when it hurts, I don't claim to be perfect, but I found some things that work. Well, I stop watching the news when I got tired of the yelling hell, the pictures that they show, and from the stories that they're selling. And I can save myself that stress, save myself that time, save myself. There was about uh, income inequality, if you didn't notice. This next verse is about my cats. Thought if I say that, you'd pay better attention. Well, I always thought I'd have a dog again. Someday I just might. And so far, I've had a couple cats, and they've treated me all right. Well, Batman ran off and joined some coyote gang. Hell, I hope she's doing well now. I've got Bobby in her place. And I've never been much a drink, but I might have a thing for bourbon. Hell, I'd probably 
drink just about whatever Amy's serving. And I hope she don't mind that I tell it like I do. But this story's my own, and you've got one of your own, too. Thank you, thank you. All right, now you know a little about... What's that? Oh, yeah, you get that tuned up there. Cool, we're going to do another song from the new CD back there. Uh, this is a song I wrote a few years ago. Um, I don't really know m much of what to say about it that the title doesn't. It's called Don't Go to College. And uh, I don't have any problems with higher education. Um, I was about to make a joke. That would make me. I'm not going to do it. But uh, something about like getting high, getting an education. I, don't worry about it. But anyhow, I didn't want to make myself look bad. Like I didn't go to class or anything, but um, but I went to music school, uh, wasn't for me, dropped out of there and started hitting the road, and uh, here I am today going to do this for y'all, and I'd much rather be doing this than just about anything else. And so this song's called Don't Go to College. Don't go to college, go live in the woods, keep in touch with your grandma, and let her know you're doing good, you gotta learn to take care of yourself, before you go out, trying to make a buck in this world, where a dollar's worth a dime, get on, that was a cool lick, get on up to the mountains, go the highest you've been, take a look at the world below, and look up to the sky See the freedom See before you And when you come back down Take some with you before you go Water's cold, take all your clothes off, and when you get to the shore, jump right in and swim on out, and roll on with the waves, and let it cool your restless way, and when I reach the heaven, and I meet the one, well I hope to thank her, for all she's done, and if she won't throw me a bone, help me pay off my student loan. Well, I don't mind, I'll just roll up a bone of my own. Thank you. True story. All right. Got a good pace going now. Our instruments don't want to stay in tune. <laughs> Almost there now. Want to do knock, uh, knocking boots? Yeah. That wasn't even on our list. I've written no a list. bunch of songs last. There ain't no list. That's true. Uh, I've written a bunch of songs last last few years more than I did the rest of my life, and uh, this is one of those here. I wanted to pay tribute to one of my heroes. Any of y'all familiar with Bob Wills and the Texas Playboys? Um, okay, well, we'll get you there. 
Have y'all ever heard the song Bob Wills is Still the King by Waylon Jennings? Yeah, oh yeah, that's that's who he's talking about, Bob Wills. See, Bob Wills was the king of Western swing, which is a kind of its own subgenre. That was a mix of um, old time fiddle music and old country and uh, jazz and big band music, and it thrived in the 30s and 40s into the 50s. Um, Bob Wills is the big name, huge hero for me, and so I wrote this song after seeing some really amazing pictures of him playing in the 40s to these crazy crowds. I mean, look like you look at this picture and these guys are playing these crazy old speakers and soundboards, a bunch of acoustic instruments on stage and the crowds just shoulder to shoulder, people freaking out over hillbilly music like that. Uh, hillbilly dance music, no less. And so uh, I just, it just blew my mind seeing those pictures just to see that kind of energy. And uh, I was just thinking about how people used to dance and know how to dance and wanted to dance and knew that that was a nice way to get to know other people. And so I wrote this song about that. It's called Knockin' Boots, and it's full of all sorts of little references to uh, Bob Wills' lyrics and music as well. So here we go. It's on the CD back there. Just as soon as that sun goes down Just a little drive, not far to go About a mile more and I'm at the show well, I'm looking for this gal I know Like swing out on the floor Here's hoping I could find a way Knock some boots till the break of day Knocking boots, knockin boots, knockin boots, knockin boots Well, the big balls in Cowtown are all getting down Knocking boots, knockin boots, knockin boots, boots. Till the morning light comes shining bright We've long lost out that neon light You knockin' boots down, I caught her hand, spun around, and I made a fan. She spun me back, she spun me fast, pulled back her hand, she smacked my ass. Well, I caught myself, she got me good, we fell right back into the groove. Feet straight, stopping on sweat, damn wood, feels just like a dance floor show. Knocking boots, knocking boots, knocking boots, knockin boots. Well, big balls in Cowtown are all getting down. Knocking boots, knocking boots, knocking boots, knocking boots. Till the morning light comes shining bright, we've long lost out that neon light. You're knocking boots. And we both held tight, eyes all bright with smoke stained light. The band kept playing, and we felt all right. Well, I pushed her out, spun around. She pulled me in my ear to her mouth. She said, If you feel like I feel toots, then come on home and let's knock some boots. Knocking boots, knocking boots, knocking boots. Knockin boots. Well, big balls of cow town are all getting down. Knocking boots, knocking boots, knocking boots. Knockin boots. Said, so if you want to get along like me, knocking boots in your favorite key. Well, it won't come out of the blue. You got to ask someone to dance with you. You're knocking boots. Thank you. True story. Um, wasn't planning on playing this next one tonight, but then I saw saw y'all. You know, as you guys are the party crowd, and um, Actually, it's funny, we, we mostly play in like bars and venues of that sort, and we don't really get to do the, like the listening room environment, which I love, because I love to tell the stories behind the songs. Like I said, true story. And, uh, I mean, true stories. And uh, I make goofy jokes. 
And uh, anyhow, so this song here, uh, we were driving in, and uh, I saw that this county is Marion County, right? We're in Marion County? We're not leaving. We haven't left Marion County. We're in Marion County. Okay, cool. Um, and I wrote a song about a guy from Marion County, Kentucky, when I was 19 years old. And this guy's name is Johnny Boone, John Robert Boone. And at the time, he was on the run from the United States government. And uh, for a conspiracy to grow and distribute uh, a, a lot, a lot of marijuana, right? And uh, and I and I there was like, he was on America's Most Wanted, all this stuff. And I remember seeing the episode about him, and they really like try to make him sound real scary, but they like kind of mixed up on that. They were like saying he, he's like he looks like Santa Claus, and and then at one point they're like he sells drugs and, and he's a vegan. And then it kept going, and I was like, hold on, what? Like, and he's a vegan. That makes me, that, that might make him, is that less dangerous or more dangerous? I don't know. <laughs> so anyhow, it was funny, but I, I got really interested in this guy's story. And uh, so uh, reading some articles about him, I wrote this song. And you'll hear me talk about something called the Cornbread Mafia. And uh, there's a book called the Cornbread Mafia. I highly recommend if you, if you like the story and the song. It's a book by James Higdon. I can tell you about it later. But uh yeah, this is an, um, it's an amazing story, and I, this is a song I wrote when I was 19 because I thought he needed one. And uh, he, uh, he grew and distributed more marijuana than anybody ever did in the United States, uh, him and a group of other folks. Yeah, good for him. All right, yeah. All right, enthusiastic party crowd. But anyhow, we're in Marion County, might as well. Oh, where you, John Robert Boone? Oh, where you, John Robert Boone? Well, you've run off once again. Oh, where you, John Robert Boone? Shine or sun, and you don't know about nothing but trading what you grown. One by the feds, hell, they want you done, but we're on your side. Just run, Johnny, run.
Thank you. Cheers, y'all. Well, if you like what you hear, I'd hope you uh, grab a CD on your way out, or uh, I think we're going to have a little tip hat going around, and uh, whatever you contribute helps us stay on the road and do what we do and share our stories. And uh, Oh. <laughs> You're going to pass your hats. No, we're trading hats tonight. It's a it's a hat trade night. Yeah. Oh. I guess it wasn't on the poster. It's a hat swap. Stop album. I recently saw a note in my uh, old, one of my old writing journals, and it said, Write a honky tonk song about time travel. And so then, um, I know I thought about it before, and I just couldn't really get the, the, the ideas right, but then I uh, started writing it again, and came out just right. This might not be exactly how it is in the recording, but this is how it's going to be tonight. If I could go back, if I could go back in time, maybe I could swallow my pride. If I could go back, if I could go back in time. could go back in some time machine maybe I could stop myself from turning so mean if I could go back if I could go back in time but it's been so long since you said so long Since you said so long, I'm leaving. Since you said so long, I'm done now. If I could travel through space and time, maybe I could tame this wandering, woeful, weary mind. If I could go back, if I could go back in time. Maybe I could 
change your mind if I could go back if I could go back in time if I could go back in time Thank you. I like that. I like that. Every time I finish a song, a few people go, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Y'all are fun. Thank you. Let's do, uh, let's do Kentucky Chimes. Chimes. All right. So here's a, a little trick of the trade. Because sometimes you're going to get requests, you know. And uh, what's that? No. Not that one. But yeah, sure. This is, this is what I'm talking about here. Is just sometimes people want to hear something, you know. <laughs> people want to hear something, and uh, you kind of like you like play it, play a song by uh, Hank Thompson, and then you just play a different country song, and you're like, oh, Hank Thompson totally did that one. His version's great. <laughs> and then, uh, or sometimes they'll be like, play a song about uh, chocolate, and then you just make one up or something or you take an instrumental you take an instrumental and you call it chocolate lollipop or something weird like that and then you're good you don't need lyrics right so the other night i was taking requests and someone said sing a song about green beans he's dressed up in a rabbit costume this guy was dressed up in a rabbit costume with overalls on yeah. <laughs> he wanted a song about green beans and so uh, we just happened to remember that we knew and an old bluegrass banjo tune that was called Green Beans by the great old banjo player, Mike Lilly. And uh, some would argue that others might prefer the name, uh, or he might prefer the name Kentucky Chimes. But uh, Green Beans, here we go on the banjo. <laughs> Thank you so much. Green beans. <laughs> Kentucky green beans. That's a good one. If you're looking it up online, it might be uh, Kentucky chimes. Do we 
play that that out of tune? I didn't even notice. What are you thinking there? What am I thinking? What am I thinking? If you guys ever have any kind of rec- like requests, like I was talking about, you just shout them at us. Oh, yeah. I don't know those. I don't even know what you guys said. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nelson? You guys, you gotta articulate. You need to enunciate your words. Deliverance? That's a movie. That's a movie. It's not a song. It's not a band. It might, it's probably a band. I don't know it. Come on, guy. Merle Haggard? Yes, sir. Uh, we'll definitely do a Merle Haggard song here for you. Um, we had, we got one earlier. We stopped at Merle. We're gonna, I'm gonna do a Merle song, and we'll get to the rest of y'all. All right? Still gotta sing a bunch of other ones too. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna do plenty. I'm just gonna do. Oh man. Well, now you're 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 capped, man. <laughs> you're cut off. All right. Well, here's an old Merle Haggard song. Feel free to sing along with me. Uh, Merle Haggard is one of my musical heroes. I feel like I uh, I really learned how to sing listening and singing along to Merle Haggard. Uh, one specific summer coming home from work every day and being really excited to listen to new Merle Haggard albums and sing along with them. And uh, so this is one I learned way back when. And um, a year after Merle Haggard passed away, I think four, three or four years ago, three years ago, yeah, I started throwing a festival up in Newport, Kentucky called Hag Fest in April. And it's uh, the day of his passing and also his birthday, April 6th. So if you got any friends up in Newport, you feel like doing some traveling, um, it's right outside of Cincinnati up there. Tell them about Hagfest. Last year, our headliner was Bill Kirchin from Commander Cody and the Lost Space Airmen, if you're familiar. Hot Rod Lincoln and whatnot. And, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that guy. Shit, shit, dang. <laughs> Is it Rumpke Mountain or Rocky Mountain? Oh, uh, we know them too. <laughs> all right, so here, here we are. What are we going to play? I got this. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is a tune called Swingin' Doors. Feel free to sing along. It's Merle Haggard's song. Well, this old smoke filled bar is something that I'm not used to. But I gave up my home just to see you satisfied. I just call and let you know. It's not much, but I feel welcome here inside. And I've got swinging doors, the jukebox, and a bar stool. And my new home has a flashing neon sign. Stop by and see me anytime that you want to.
Thank you. Sure. They'll show me a picture of Merle Haggard. Oh, that's cool. Now you're going to have to pass this around. I'll show it to everyone. <laughs> he got to meet Merle Haggard when he was 17. He joined the Marines. Merle said, "Get on my, come on up on my bus. Love Hank Thompson. You got a picture with him? Autographed guitar? Oh, dang. Oh. That's real cool. Shoot. A less than a song? Oh, dang. You mean I got to write one? Or you want you want to hear a Hank Thompson song? All right. I might be able to dig in and get one out for you. But I'm going to think about it. But right now, I'm going to do one. Uh, like I said, we're from Cincinnati, Ohio. Y'all ever been to Cincinnati, Ohio? All right, about seven people have been there. Or clap for cities, that just to be nice, which I appreciate. But uh, this next song here um, was inspired by a story a buddy of mine told me. I play a gig every Tuesday night when I'm home with a bluegrass band called the Northern Kentucky Bluegrass Band. And we play at a, a little restaurant in Newport called Sisters of Mammoth, And we have pretty much the same crowd every week. They're there every week, and no one else comes, but they, and I think it's because they reserve all the seats in the whole place every week. And even if they're not coming, sometimes their names are still written down, and then people walk in and walk. It's really silly, but they really love us. And uh, this one week, my buddy Paul told me a story about a girlfriend he once had. And this girlfriend was a really great banjo player, but she had a gnarly dip habit, right? She always had dip in her mouth. And, uh, and he, he wasn't really into it and the dip thing. He really enjoyed her banjo playing, but he tried to, tried to stick with it as long as he could, and it didn't work out. But years later, he, he, it makes for a good story, right? So I'm like, man, that, makes, that can make for a decent song. It's going to be a hokey song, but it could be a pretty good hokey song. Um, you know, we don't really have, like, novelty songs. I mean, everything on the radio kind of sounds like a novelty these days, but we don't have, like, old-fashioned novelty songs. So I wanted to write one for Paul and his old girlfriend. Two weeks later, I come back. I'm like, Paul, I wrote a song for that girlfriend you had. And Paul, his wife was sitting with him. And Paul was like, what, gr what girlfriend? And then Paul's wife, Peggy, was like, what girlfriend, Paul? And then I was like, you know, the one with the banjo and the dip? And he was like, what are you talking about? And then Peggy was like, what are you talking about, Joe? And then I was like, you know, you told me this story. The, the banjo playing lady with the dip, you know, I mean, come on. And he was like, look me right in the eyes. He said, Joe, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> and I thought he was putting me on because we were in front of his wife, Peggy. And I was like, what do you mean, Paul? And Paul said, Joe, I did not tell you that story. I have no idea who told you that story. And so, to this day, I have no idea who told me this story. <laughs> and it inspired a song that's on the album back there. And it's called The Banjo Pickin' Tobacco Spittin' Gal. I'm still hoping that whoever told me this story will come and let me, <laughs> relieve me of this mystery. I've been doing a lot of uh, internet research and um, I've got no leads other than Paul. We'll do it a little slower. So usually we have a full band with us. We got Andrew, we got drummer guy, he's like pow, 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 pow. and then we got bass guy, you know bass guys are like right? And then uh, we have lead electric guitar guy, and he's like, right? Crazy. The album's got all sorts of stuff. It's got steel guitar, mandolins, guitars, banjos, pianos, harmonicas, all sorts of stuff. It's, it's real cool. And this song was kind of a little blend of uh, bluegrass, rockabilly, and western swing kind of all in one. 
down just a little more. I forgot. There we go. Well, she smells real good like TV dinner. And she's always polite like you just met her. She don't believe it. Jesus says she knows better. She's my banjo picking a back of spitting gal. Well, she gets high on that. She'll brew up shine that'll make you wine. She's a renaissance woman with a nasty lip. My banjo pig in the back of spitting gal. Well, she rips a fine with a lip full of dip. She'll pick a fine head with shaking your hips. She don't give a damn and she never will. She grows her on the back way up on the hill. And if you see her coming, don't be alarmed. It's hard to resist such a natural charm. She's big and strong and stands up straight. She's my banjo pig in the back of spitting gal. Say, but Lord knows it's a to see how does she sing so in tune with so few teeth. Well, call that a scientific anomaly. But she calls it that, she's crazy. She's a banjo pig in the back of spitting gal. She rips a fine with a lip full of dips. She'll pick a spine and shake your hips. She don't give a damn and she never will. She grows her on the back way up on the hill and she loves me good. Loves me ragged. I don't want to say too much. Don't want to sound like I'm bragging. I'll just leave it at that. My story about my banjo pig in the back of spitting gal. Jump mash right over here, folks. Thank you all again. Just to remind you again, we do have CDs back there for 10 bucks. We got a whole lot of other things back there if you want something else. We got stickers. We got, oh, look out. We got patches, stickers, pins, koozies, CDs, posters, hats, T-shirts. And we won't run out of anything either, so don't worry. We got it. We got extras too, and uh, and we got hoodies too. We got zip up hoodies. They're the thinner kind, so they're perfect for this Florida place oh. that y'all live in. Oh, yeah. And um, we've actually sold more of those here than in just about anywhere else. Anywhere think. in the world. And, anywhere uh, in the whole world. Yeah. <laughs> but I also I'd like also like to let you know that the t-shirts are really soft, and. Um, they're really, really soft, and uh, you're going to really like the way you look. I guarantee it. <laughs> I'm all out of stuff to say. But, you know, get something. Uh, Christmas just passed, but it's going to happen again next year. This year now, actually. Wait, man, time moves quick. You know, it's already this year. So make sure you get some Christmas presents back there at the table. Um, Knock it out. Yeah. We got up to, I think we got all the way up to three X's. And, uh. There's some four X sweaters. Four X sweat? No. Uh, I'm pretty, pretty sure I saw some back there. Am I taking it? Well, if you know someone who's a four X, Christmas. <laughs> This is a song I started writing the day of a breakup uh, a few years ago. Um, me and this lady would go to a diner all the time and get breakfast, and they had a jukebox at this diner, and I really try to uh, go to places that have jukeboxes because I love old jukeboxes, and I figure if someone keeps using them, then maybe uh, they'll keep them there, you know, instead of getting the new electric ones or the ones with the screens and, on the, you know, they're all electric, whatever. But anyhow, so uh, the day of our breakup, uh, I went to this diner uh, two in the afternoon to get to get some breakfast, and uh, and the I went I was I considered going over to the diner to turn on some music, but the only things on the jukebox were um, old country duets and like late '90s, early 2000s country music, and so I mostly just listened to the old country duets. And uh, that day, I was just like, I can't turn that stuff on right now. It's way too sad. 
So I, uh, at the time, was organizing a little concert that was a pay tribute to my favorite record label from Cincinnati, Ohio, called King Records. And uh, they had uh, funk music and bluegrass and old time and blues and so also everything they had back in the day. And uh, Hawkshaw Hawkins was on that label. He passed away in the plane ride with uh, Patsy, uh, Patsy Klein. And uh, Hawkshaw Hawkins has a song that was called Put a Nickel in the Jukebox. And considering my situation at the time, sitting at this diner, uh, at the bar at the diner, uh, I wrote a song called Don't Put a Nickel in the Jukebox. And um, it all started on a napkin there. tell that story again, but this time in song form. Well, this morning, my baby left me, and that's why I'm sitting here with nothing to say. So don't put a nickel in the jukebox. I couldn't stand to hear those sad old songs today. Well, I've been here so many times with her but I've never walked in here and felt like this before but we put in our orders grab our singles and our quarters and not light us a smoke to share in the jukebox wrapped in smolder but this morning my baby left me And that's why I'm sitting here With nothing to say So don't put a nickel in the jukebox I couldn't end to hear Those sad old songs today Spun George and Tammy and Connie and Loretta, Merle and Bonnie and Parner and Dolly and Emmy and Rodney and Johnny and June and Waylon and Jesse and the diner for two. But this morning, my baby left me And that's why I'm sitting here with nothing to say So don't put a nickel in the jukebox I couldn't stand to hear those sad old songs today No, I couldn't stand to hear those sad old songs today Thank you. We got time for a couple more? I don't know. Oh, sure. Uh, well, the tip hat's made its way up here. Um, if you feel like donating more, you can just come up here and just throw the money at us. It's fun. I assure you. You just start tossing. You can crumple them up. You can, like... Do you like a like a, like a thing like this? Just, you know, you crumple them up, just throw them at us, you know? And uh, we think it's fun. Other people start laughing and smiling. Um, if, if there's anything you can do every day, is just make, make, wait, make one other person smile. Throw money at musicians. We'll do kind of a rock and roller here for you. And then I'll get my fiddle out and we'll do a little bit. 
And then uh, we'll finish up the night. Thank you all. This one's called The High Road. This is a song that I wrote uh, about... Um, Sorry, so make sure this person's okay. Hey, he's all right. All right, this is a song that I wrote. Uh, um, this is a song that's about being able to say no to somebody that you've said yes to too many times, even though they show up at your door and they're wearing a, a fancy dress, and uh, and you just gotta keep up with yourself make the right decision. This one's called The High Road. It's also on the CD back there. Like I said, it's kind of the rock and roller on the album. Well, I'm gonna make some changes, gonna do some rearranging, won't ever have you back again this time. I'm taking the high road, leaving you behind. Well, you've used me up so many times before, and it ain't ever long till you're knocking at my door. Why can't you understand? I ain't your fool anymore Fiddling for you, and then I got one more. I was saying earlier that usually we're playing in bars and venues and stuff, whether with the full band or just the two of us, and it's nice to play these listening rooms. And uh, we also get to sit in chairs when we play these kinds of rooms. We like to get down to your level. And uh, just relax, you know, take some pressure off our backs. Thank you. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you all so much for coming out and listening. We appreciate it. So when I was younger, um, 
I got uh, started going to uh, old time bluegrass festivals and old fiddlers conventions and Galax, Virginia, and, uh, and Clifftop, West Virginia, and Mount Airy, North Carolina, and um, a bunch of these places. And I got to learn uh, a lot of really amazing music, and I get to become part of a really amazing community and culture that I've learned and been inspired so much by. And so this is a tune I learned years ago um, from a band called the Pilot Mountain Bobcats. And uh, me and Andrew are going to play it here for you right now. It's a cool tune. It's an interesting tune. It's from Surrey County, North Carolina. <laughs> Difference where I go, I feel sad and blue. But every night when I lay down in my dreams, I see that old bridge just standing there. I can hear it calling me. with everyone I know Since my baby done left me here Oh, where will I go? Baby done left me here Left me all alone Left me here Crying on these natural, natural bridge blues Do one more here for you. Don't want to keep you too late. This Thursday night. What's that? Oh, you got tomorrow off. Oh, this is great. Who else has tomorrow off? <laughs> oh, that's cool. And y'all just hang out, just gather. That's cool. Um, I don't have tomorrow off. I have to get up in the morning and go canoeing on the Rainbow River over here. I'd like to thank Nate for helping set this up. Uh, give a round of applause for Nate. He's the man down here at the livery. I don't know. We're that way over there. Right, this one. Is it, I don't know where you see. I'm not, I'm, I've never been here before. I'm barely here right now. Just here enough. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm real grateful to be here. Tomorrow I'm going to get up and we're going to go canoeing on the river and then uh, got to drive down to Kissimmee 
and um, play a house party there. And then we're in Tampa on Saturday. And Sunday, we're in Pensacola for an afternoon show. And then Tuesday, we're in New Orleans. Thursday, we're in Nashville. And then Friday, we're in Bloomington, Indiana. And Saturday, we're in Indianapolis. And then we're going to be home on Sunday, uh, the 20th. So it's a nice little tour. We came down by way of Boone and Charlotte. Thanks, y'all. Just trying to live out this dream here. But this next song here, um, <clears throat> I don't know. I wouldn't normally end on a slow one, but I really wanted to play this one tonight, and uh, the time was kind of getting away from me. And we had so much to talk about and stuff, you know. So, but um, my grandma is a. Uh, She's 93 years old, and she's uh, she lived in Russia for 50, it was the USSR then for 50 years, and then she's lived here in the States for 43 years, and um, and she is the most she's the strongest, um, most hardworking woman person I've ever met, and she's my biggest inspiration in my life, and uh, was a parental figure to me when I needed one most, and uh, I would not be here right now on the stage getting to hang out with y'all if it wasn't for her and uh and i'm grateful yeah <clears throat> for her and uh i'm grateful to her every day for that and uh, i know how, how hard she's always worked just so my dad and my uncle could have um, better lives and so that way i could have a good life here and, and get to do the things that i love um, she sacrificed so much time and so much health just to be able to uh put me in a position and my dad and my uncle where we could live out our dreams here in the States. And of course I wasn't born yet, but, um, yeah, uh, I wrote this song for her. We, her and I do a few drives every year, um, from Cincinnati, New York and back. And, uh, we had just gotten done with one. I had just gotten home and I wrote her this song and, uh, a little testament to, uh, my grandma and how strong she is. And let's see. When she was in Russia, she uh, didn't have proper health care, and she had to cut off her own thumb. Did that? Didn't give a fuck. She's badass. Hard my French or my Russian. But she did that, and then she moved to the states. At one point, her apartment got robbed, and she got stabbed. Survived that. And just a few. Uh, her name is Diana. Yeah, I call her Baba Dina. And um, she, uh, a few years ago, she got hit by an ambulance crossing the street. And uh, interestingly enough, at the time, she was carrying a 20 pound bag of raw meat. And um, she doesn't remember why or what she's going to do with it. But she was really adamant that she got it back when she was in the hospital. You know grandmas. So this is all true. And um, the ambulance that hit her, you know, they have to wait for another ambulance to come pick her up. I know, it's like it's like dark humor, you know. It's ironic. But she's in she's in high spirits and it's like nothing none of that ever happened, you know. So anyhow, this song's for her. Thank y'all so much for listening. I'm Joe. Andrew is up here playing the banjo with me. We got a band called Joe's Truck Stop. And they're hard to fit all of them in the van, you know, and so it's just me and Andrew this time, but hope to come back again and bring the band. See y'all again. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you for everything you had to do. Thank you for taking my life in your hands. Thank you. Thank you. For all the love that you've given. Thank you. For all the days that went missing. Working your fingers to the bone. Trying to find. A home for your two boys and you From behind that curtain No one could just walk on through 
but you Thank you Showing me away, thank you for not pushing me away when I was in the time of need. Looking for someone to help me realize my dreams. You showed me well when I felt like I could hardly breathe. Thank you. of it was hell but look at us now I say we're doing well because of you thank you thank you for everything thank you for all the shit you had to do thank you for taking my life in your hands Thank you. Thank you all so much, Joe. Appreciate it.